I was chatting with someone the other day who was putting together a light CMS and we talked about using notes document unique IDs versus a permalink function for direct links into content. And I thought I'd put together a quick permalink versus notes unit logic um, demo video showing you some pros, some cons for using that approach. Uh, what I've done, I'll show you a quick example put together, uh, have here three notes documents viewed over the web. First column we have using permalinks, the second we have using uh, document units. I'll open up the first using a notes link and you can see it renders within a view called pages to a logic driven unit or logic driven permalink which is saved in the notes document. The second uses a document unique ID structure you can see here renders the same exact way via pages and has that unit. Now we'll talk about the cons first. The cons, and a lot of people actually see this as a pro, I can go in here and place whatever I'd like here. When I'm using a document unique ID to pull up a notes document over the web, the view is ignored. For example, I can type this ain't there, which there's no view entitled this ain't there. And when I render that, this will actually render via the design element that is stored in the form field. So there's a content form, which if I take a look at my forms for this example application, I'll see there's a content form and then a display uh, form. The content form is actually rendered and if I take a look at that, that's where you see the actual editor. Now you can build security around this so it's not the end of the world, but something to keep in mind. If you're using this, um, and a lot of people actually do just render this and type in a zero as a placeholder. When they render this, even if this did render properly, you can't step backward. You'll see that zero doesn't exist. So we'll just go back in and you'll see with the permalink I can actually step back using the view takes me right back to here. I'll show you how we build out the permalink functionality by taking a look at the notes documents themselves the view surrounding that and how we handle that logic. So I'll go in here I'll close out of my content and we'll first take a look at the pages view you'll see here the first column is a categorized column and that is categorized by a notes item called permalink the second column contains all of our markup that is rendered at the view level if I take a look at my content you'll see here I have a permalink value that I simply just grab now, come up with some logic, create the .html extension so it actually looks like a valid URL. So how I get that, I'll go back into the view, the pages view, I set a form formula and I set it to use the display form. If I check out my forms, you'll see one entitled display here. I have save options which is a computed or actually an editable field that I just set to zero so there's no possibility of someone overwriting this. I have that hidden and I just display the body. Now there's a few other things I do in here including setting the title and setting the, HT, uh, the HTML header content uh, using values from the document but that's pretty much it. So using the permalink value all you need is a categorized column within a view that is set to your permalink status pull that up over the web and that's all you need a much more um, search engine optimized way of getting your content out there as well so check it out check the show notes for more information and the link to this example application and see you next time take care